Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today, we will go through the day 29 problem from the June Lead Coding Challenge, Unique Paths. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Consider the diagram below. A robot is located at the top left corner of an M cross N grid marked start. It can only move either down or right at any point in the time. The robot is trying to reach the bottom right corner of the grid marked finish. We need to find how many possible unique paths are there. Here are a few constraints attached to the question. M and N are between 1 and 100 and it's guaranteed that the answer will be less than or equal to 2 into 10 raised to 9. Let's take this example with M as 7 and N as 3. We'll be using DP to solve this question. So let's take a DP matrix of size M cross N. We can say the robot could travel through the first row or the first column in only one unique way by either moving right throughout the row or by moving down throughout the column. So we can fill these with ones. For the rest of the grid, we will use this formula. We will add the values from top and left. This will give us the unique ways a robot could move to that particular grid. If we check manually, we can see for this grid, the robot could either move right and down or down and right. That gives us two unique ways and our formula also gave us the same result. Now let's see it for this one. The addition gives us three and we can see that there are indeed three unique ways to reach this position. If we continue filling the matrix using this formula, we get this as a final DP and the value in the destination block is our answer. So we return 28. If we see it mathematically, number of ways one could choose P elements from P plus K element is called binomial coefficient. So the number of ways one could move horizontally given horizontal plus vertical total values or vice versa will be H plus V factorial by H factorial into V factorial where H and V are the maximum horizontal and vertical moves possible. If we substitute this with the parameters from question, we can have M minus one horizontal moves and N minus one vertical moves. So the equation changes as below. We could have also solved it using this formula. In that case, its complexity would depend on the method used to find the factorial. However, for Python 3, there is an inbuilt factorial method that has a time complexity lower than that of the DP method. So if you are solving the questions using Python 3, you could definitely use it. The time and space complexity for this algorithm is O of M into N. Here's the code snippet. Also, check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video.